Hi, I'm Tiffany Windsor. I have a quick and easy giftable idea for you today, and I am using the Aline's Magnetic Tacky Dots. It's so cool to create your own magnets. The first step in this project is to select your wood box, and then you will paint it inside and out with the color of your choice. Set that aside to dry, and while that's drying, I want to show you a fun technique where you can create your own paper. So what we're going to do is create a polka dot pattern on a piece of watercolor paper. You can use scrapbook paper also if you'd like to, scrapbook cardstock, but I love to create my own designs. So I am using my Aline's Clear Gel Tacky Glue. I'm not using it as glue today, I'm using it as a resist technique using the eraser from your pencil just dip it right into your Aline's clear gel glue and let's put some dots on and what's so cool about this is you do not let this glue dry we do this technique when the glue is wet so you're going to want to work sections at a time so that the glue remains wet So continue putting your dots on to work the section of the paper that you're going to next be applying your acrylic paint. I like to use cosmetic sponges to apply my paint and I don't want to pull through, I'm going to dab up and down. And I'm using several colors so we'll apply the paint and put our two colors and blend it where those colors meet. Again, working straight up and down because you don't want to pull through that wet paint. Next you take your wet wipe and you start wiping the paint away where the glue was. Isn't that cool? So you can create your own designs. My pattern today, as I mentioned, is polka dots. I wanted something really, really simple, but you could if you're artistic, you could draw other designs. So continue to work sections at a time. Sometimes I like to draw through this a little bit more with the wet wipe, pull back. Continue to create that same design on your entire piece of watercolor paper. The next thing you want to do is take a bird pattern and just lay it on the back and draw out that design and cut out your bird patterns and I use a little heart for the wings. I also like to add a little bit more detail to the watercolor paper so if you do have a sewing machine you can stitch right around the edge and cut off that excess thread. I did that on both the bird and the wings or you can use just a permanent marking pen and create lines around the edge. Just glue your little heart wings right in place. And then, of course, to finish these off, you use your Aline's Magnetic Tacky Dot and pull off that back because they're already sticky and just place that right in the back of your magnet. So by now your box should be completely dry. So I continued with the polka dot pattern and carried that over to my little gift box here. So I'm using my Aline's Tacky Dot Singles and Craft Foil. And you can see you have a colored side and the matte side. So you're going to put the colored side up and press it right into your tacky dot single and there you have it. So cover your entire box with your dots and then you can just put your little giftable magnets right inside. And you can see on the wings I also use the small tacky dot singles to put the same foil the Aline's Magnetic Tacky Dots are available at Michael's. It's terrifically tacky and creatively cool.